If you're in the market looking for a variable ND filter, chances are you've come across the brand name Polar Pro. They are the top based on popularity with a big price tag to match. I was wondering if the more affordable free well variable ND filters are a good alternative, and in this video, that's what we'll be finding out. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bernard and welcome to the channel. For today's video, I'll be testing out two different filters at different price points. Can the Freewell Variable ND Filter, which is priced at 110 USD, hold a candle to the more expensive Polar Pro Variable ND Filters, which is priced at 250 USD? At more than double the price, one would expect the Polar Pro filters to outperform the Freewell filters. Let's see if that's the case. For this test, I will not be using any picture profiles, neither will I be doing any color correction to the clips. What you see will be the raw files straight out of camera. I will also be focusing on real world situations for this test, so let's dive right in. For the first example, I am using the filters at a 70mm focal length. As you can see, green will be the main colour in this scene, and we shall see how it shifts with the different stops. As you can see, there is a visible shift in the Polar Pro filter on, and the change in colour gets more apparent as you increase the number of stops. Now, we will see how the Freewell filters fare. Just like before, there is definitely a difference with and without the filters. Similarly for both filters, the red tint gets more obvious when you get to 5 stops. Now, I will be testing both filters with a different scene, with blue being the main colour. I will also be using a 35mm focal length this time. Just like the previous scene, the colour shifts when you put the filter on and it gets redder as you increase the number of stops. My last test is to see how the filters will fare with vignetting and cross-polarization, which is the common problem with wider focal lengths. I'm conducting this test at a focal length of 16mm. For the Polar Pro filters, because of the preset stop range, there is no cross-polarization, but there is visible vignetting. It isn't as bad at two stops, but it worsens when you increase the number of stops. When it comes to the Freewell filters, as it also has a preset stop range, it similarly eliminates cross-polarization. However, at 5 stops, the vignetting gets much more apparent as you can see in the top left and bottom right of the image. In my opinion, it is to the extent that the image is no longer usable. After seeing the results, here are my thoughts on the different consideration factors when picking your ND filter. First up, color rendition. Both filters will cause a color shift in the image and I think that the Polar Pro does a slightly better job at keeping the original colors. However, it is so marginal that I think it should not be a big consideration factor as color correction can easily be done in post. Secondly, design and build quality. I think both products have really good build quality and in terms of durability, I think they are equal. However, I do lean towards the Polar Pro in terms of aesthetics. But like before, this should not be a big consideration factor. Thirdly, we will look at performance. From the test, the only time I find the Freewell filters to fall behind is when shooting at 16mm and using the filters at 5 stops. If you do get these filters, you might want to take extra care when shooting wide and do not shoot more than 3 stops. This problem does not occur when shooting at tighter focal lengths. Fourth, price point. I think that this would be the biggest factor that will influence your decision. If you do not want to spend a premium on filters, the Freewell is a really good option. I do not encourage buying cheaper products that compromise on quality, but the Freewell filters are a good balance between affordability and performance. Even though I think that the Polar Pro filters perform better, I do not think that the benefits justify the extra cost. You are mainly paying for the brand name as it is a branded product. 
Lastly, the accessories that come along with it. The Polar Pro filter comes with a decent bunch of accessories like the hard case and the pouch. My personal favourite is the filter cover that comes along with it. It feels really good and it does what it's supposed to do. The Freewell filter also comes with a case but I think that the only thing worth mentioning is the magnetic cover. I love the concept of it but in terms of performance, I will have to minus some points. I've opened my camera back to find that the cover has been knocked off the filter a couple of times. I think it not only defeats the purpose of protection, but it might cause some harm to the filter if it scratches against it. It is time for the conclusion. For 90% of the people, I would actually recommend the Freewell Bearable ND filters. For the price you pay for Polar Pro, you can actually get the 2 to 5 stops and the 6 to 9 stops filter set at Freewell. That makes so much more sense. However, for the remaining 10%, where money isn't a concern and you require the best performance even at wider focal lengths, I would recommend the Polar Pro filters. It is still worth the money in my opinion. That's pretty much it for this review and comparisons video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. That's all for today, it's a wrap!